Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, this video is part of series of videos on the topic preparation of the closing balance table from the account statement. By any chance, if you missed watching the previous parts of the video, I request you to please look into the description for the link. For any account statement, as we mentioned in the part one, we can create the calendar statement, nothing but the closing balance table in three different methods. Consolidate method, sum if method, XLOOKUP method. In this video, I would like to explain with the consolidation method. This is what the data I have taken into the new sheet. If you want to use the feature called consolidate, you should have another column called date. In the second part of the video, I explained about how to get the sequence of the date starts from the first day from the account statement table till the last day of the account statement table. How to get it? I can simply link this date to this, then I can add this, then I can simply copy paste till the last date of the account statement. So 10th, right? Now, Consolidate is a feature you can find in the data tab, data tools group, consolidate. What this feature does is you can keep the data sets into the memory of Excel based on the unique values in the top row and unique values in the left column. It does the consolidation. The consolidation can happen considering the function what we use. By default, it is sum. However, you can do the consolidation using count, average, max, min, product, and so on. In this present case, I would like to use the sum function. Now, let me take two data sets. You can go to the reference, keep the cursor here. Let me select the first data set. Friends, since I can't take the direct balance, I am taking here date, debit, credit because Taking the balance into the consolidation and totaling the values considering the same days doesn't have any sense. So I have taken date column, debit column, credit column. The very important aspect you should understand here, I have selected even the headings because top row is playing very vital role as well as left column is playing very vital role. Let me add this data into the memory of Excel. Now let me take the second data set including the heading. Let me select this. Now, let me add this data also into the memory of Excel. Now, I should tell to the Excel based on what logic it has to consolidate. I want Excel to use the top row as a label and the left column as a label. Wherever in Microsoft Excel, you will find a word called label that means the unique value. By selecting these two checkboxes, I am trying to tell to the Excel that Excel in the top row, if any value gets repeat, you please consolidate using some function. In the left column, if any value gets repeat, please do the consolidation and display the unique value. Once I click OK, out of the left column, all the unique values will appear as one of the dimension to the consolidation. And out of all the top row values, unique values will appear. That is nothing but the second dimension. Wherever the left column and top row intersection for which the total will happen. If I keep the cursor here, my total will come from here because my cursor is here. So what ideally I should do, I should keep the cursor from where I want to do the consolidation. Don't worry. Whatever the data sets I have selected, those all stored in the memory of Excel. If I am working into the same sheet. If you go to the next sheet, then again, you have to apply the consolidation. Let me go to the data. Let me go click the consolidate feature. See, it's already added. Whatever I added earlier, that got stored. If I just click OK, check it out. Date column appeared, debit column appeared, credit column appeared. Date is nothing but the number as you all know. That's the reason by default it has given into the number format. Now I can simply go to the home tab, go to the format here, I can convert this into the short date. You may have a question, why this left column did not appear? Because in the two dimensional data, if you observe carefully, left column labels generally start from here, top row labels generally start from here, 
So wherever this left column and top row, the intersection is nothing but the values for which the consolidation apply. So in the two dimension data, the corner, the first cell neither belongs to the top row nor belongs to the left column. That is the reason the date title did not come. I think 90% of the job is over. Now I just simply need to have closing balance. As you all know, closing balance can be taken with a simple formula. I can take equal to debit minus credit so that I get the closing balance as on 1st January 2022. 1st January 22 closing balance plus debit minus credit. I'll get the closing balance as on 2nd January. I can simply drop down. Let me have the title called date. Let me do a little formatting. And uh, if you want, you can just hide these two columns. This is nothing but the closing balance table we got using the consolidate feature. Okay, this is what exactly the result we got here. This is the first method. In the next video, we'll cover how to work using the summif function. Thank you so much. Keep watching my videos.